Hello everyone. This is JCRP from Media Milan. Today let's learn on how to start your own web hosting service using WHM. WHM is an abbreviation for web hosting manager. In this video tutorial you will learn how to run a reseller account or create accounts for different clients so that each clients have their own cPanel. This way you can easily manage each account by increasing their bandwidth or hosting quota space and more. WHM is a product of uh, cPanel which we have been using for a very long time while hosting websites or any other places you would have seen cPanel being used as the backend to upload files, create database and stuff like that. For us resellers or web developers this is a very good tool. So this is the place uh, if you want to buy uh, WHM from. So who offers the service? Sites like SiteFi.com and uh, Amazon do offer this uh, but they are entirely different. SiteFi on one hand offers you a reseller uh, hosting plan. So if you buy it they will give you WHM to host your space, uh, to manage your space, to manage your clients and stuff like that. Whereas uh, for Amazon, uh, you have to actually create an instance, load uh, the server files. This is very tedious. This is for advanced users. Now let's uh, take a look at the web hosting manager or WHM in short. This is the normal interface that you will see. And I'm sure that uh, you must have come to this interface and then wondered, whoa, what is this? I just don't understand anything. Exactly. This is how I felt when I started hosting websites. So I thought let me just make a tutorial for you to understand. Once you come to WHM, the first thing that you have to do is to create a package. By package I mean, you know, let me show you an example. For example, this is a hosting service that I run and you can see here there are two different uh, packages available. One with a 1 GB storage and one with a 3 GB storage, one with 10 GB of bandwidth and one with a 30 GB of bandwidth so these kind of packages can be initially created using whm and then when you register users you just have to assign the users to these packages and you're done so let me show you how to create a package like this to do that let's go back to the whm and let's scroll down where you see packages let's add a package give a package name i will give this as a silver package you can set the quota limit. I've set my disk space or a disk limit for one package to be 1000 MB, that is 1 GB. So let me just assign this as 1000 MB and a monthly quota of 10,000 MB as the bandwidth, which means 10 GB. Now, what does a bandwidth mean? A bandwidth is the amount of data transfer that happens between your website and the user. That could be you or it could be anybody. Anybody who accesses the website using email, FTP, browse them, everything, everything counts as the uh, bandwidth. And that's why it's very mandatory to keep the bandwidth uh, at a higher rate. Now for the number of FTP users, I can give it as 25. Email accounts, 25. The emails list again will be 25. The database, let them pay 25. Just, I'm just gonna tap in the numbers quickly. I'm going to give them SSH access. I'm not give, going to give them a dedicated IP that is not required, uh, but I can give them a cool uh, cPanel theme. And now, I'm just clicking on add. It says success. To check if the package has been added, you can go back and click on packages. Click on edit packages, and you can actually see the new package that I created has been added okay now that brings us to the next part of adding a new account say you have a new client and you want to add a new account uh, to your whm so that that client has his own cpanel and everything to create that you have to create a new account in whm and you can do that by clicking on create a new account before you create an account with whm it is mandatory that you know to which domain you're going to associate this hosting package so it's very mandatory that you know the domain in this case let me say i want to create it for google whm creates the username automatically but of course you can add uh, text along with it i'm just gonna add google user but it's not mandatory
at my email id choose the package that i have created and then just leave the rest of the stuff and go to create i tried creating it using google.com and it says no so let me just be a little more specific and create it for media Milan. let's generate it once again make sure that you give your client's email id over here and not your email id because the cpanel details will be mailed directly to the client and it will look much professional and you don't have to check anything else just say create just wait for it as the scripts use this information that you have entered to create an account for you as you can see it has run through a lot of checklist and finally gave you your details this brings us to an important point where you have to remember checking these details before you proceed you have your domain name username password and the name servers this is important right now the account that you're seeing is associated with my hosting account called getspeed.in so i have arranged my name servers to go according with my branding so right now it says ns1 getspeed.in and ns2 getspeed.in this will be provided to you by your reseller in case if you're buying it from sitefy they will send you an email with these name servers and you can make those changes here in your basic uh, panel it's not mandatory it's just good branding that's all well, let's go back just copy these details let's see if this account considering that media Milan is my client let's see if they have their own cpanel to log into the cpanel all you have to do is copy open a new tab paste it and followed by the username in this case the username being media Milan. now as you see the website is created and i actually can see the directory of the website let's just log in to the cpanel i know the username let's copy the password password here we go with the new uh, cpanel for the user media Milan. it has everything from file manager to database and uh, as you can see the disk space limit that we set when we created the package is over here i just want to create another account because i want to show you how you can modify these accounts so let me just copy this so that uh, we don't forget it let's just copy paste it here now let us uh, create another account just accounts of create account let's just create an account called user account.com set account again a password for it so I've copied you don't have to actually uh, remember the password because it's anyway going to give you at the end I'm just going to add it to the silver package and then check the rest of the details good here's something that I wanted to show you based on the package that you have created it can show you how many clients you can have with this account so this is something that you have to keep your eyes on always so that you know that you haven't crossed the limit uh, or you have to extend your uh, hosting space or something like that now let's get back to creating the account it just takes a while again before we forget let's just copy these details put a line and then paste it cool now the reason that i created this account the second account is to show you how we can manipulate uh, or terminate an account or change the bandwidth and stuff like that first i want to show you that this site is still accessible just log in to it by using their username here fair enough it is there now let's go and modify as you can see here are the number of accounts that i have with this whm package from site file and here you can see the new account that i created let's put a limit on it 
and the new setting has been applied this does not necessarily mean that i have changed the silver package if you go back to packages and if you edit a package and edit it you can still see that the monthly bandwidth is around 10 gb i would like to show you how to terminate an account so let's terminate the user account.com terminate an account user account terminate again whm is going to run a series of scripts to remove all the files and all the other details that it just created for you so that you get your bandwidth back your quota back so if i go back to the website and if i refresh the page you can see it no more exists because we just terminated it and that's all there is to whm it's very easy to use four main sections that you have to understand one is where you set your dns record second where you can create your accounts suspend them the difference between suspend and termination is suspend you can suspend and unsuspend an account if they haven't paid your bills or stuff like that uh, but when a client actually leaves you to, for another hosting or you know he just does not exist anymore the website is not required anymore in that case you would actually terminate the account the second one is to create the accounts again these two are similar packages is another important place so the if you know these points then you can host your own website and get started with whm thank you for your time with media Milan and me i hope it was helpful please do check out mediamillon.com for more tutorials i will keep you updated until next time see you